TitleMatchNetwork.com. I want to talk about uh, the 80s and, and the, some of the talent raids that, that went on with the AWA, starting with uh, Hulk Hogan. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot written and said about the WWF talent raids. What was your father's side of the story when uh, Hulk took Vince's offer? Here's how it went down, okay? Hogan was booked, and um, my father had called Vince Sr. We had our battle royals I was telling you about in the fall. And we're in St. Paul, and Andre and Hogan bumped into each other, their backs, and there was only maybe four, or five, six guys left. And they both turned slowly, and those people just went, whoo. And my dad said, okay, here's what we're gonna do. And he sat Hogan down, he called Vince Sr. He said, I want, I want Andre for February. So we had Andre for February. This was of what, 82 or 83, whenever it all started there. And um, he, let, he said, Hulk, here's what we're gonna do. Um, when you come back, we've got Christmas week. We have St. Paul, San Francisco, Chicago, Milwaukee, Winnipeg, one of other major cities. We had six cities, they were all sold out. And we were in six man tag team matches. We're, gonna, we're going to end up booking you and Andre in February with the winner to get a shot at the title. We're gonna run that in all the cities. And, and Hogan was right there and Andre was in Phoenix with us. Our last night was Phoenix. And uh, Andre was a little hard to work with that night. He was a little blurred, belligerent and drinking and he wouldn't talk to people. And we go, well, what's wrong with him? My dad said, he went up to him, big man, what's the matter? Get away from me. And that's the first time he'd ever said that to Vern. What's wrong with the guy? Hogan then went to Japan, and then we got a, it was about the 18th or 19th of December, we got a telegram from Tampa, Florida, that Hogan wasn't coming back. And my dad thought, him and Eddie Graham used to pull jokes on each other. Right. And Eddie had been on a hunting trip with my dad where he couldn't find them up in Alaska, or up in the Arctic where they were hunting, and hired a helicopter and everything, and he thought it was a rib, he went back to, back to Tampa. So my dad thought, Eddie's getting me back. So he just threw it away. All of a sudden, Christmas night, Hogan doesn't show up in St. Paul, and I called Hulk. I said, hey, what are you doing? Well, I sent the telegram. I said, well, my dad didn't think it was, he thought it was from Eddie Graham, thought you were just thinking around. No, I'm done. I said, well, hey, Fulfill your commitment. You got five, we got six nights here. Just fulfill that and then go. And he said, no, I got a commitment with Vince McMahon and I, I'm not going to do it. Did he have any contract at the time with your father or was it just a handshake, handshake. deal? Okay. Yeah. Nobody had contracts in those yeah. days. It was all a handshake, yeah. you know. And if your handshake and your word weren't good, like I said, you weren't any good. Was it true that they were fighting over t-shirt money and maybe like a percentage of Japanese bookings? Did you? No. Uh, The biggest thing was Hogan wanted to be the champion. And they had a match that one I told you about in St. Paul, and he didn't win the championship that night. And he was kind of pouting about that. But Nick had a commitment with Baba, Bubba as the champion, so he couldn't do anything with it then. Because Hogan had an agreement with Anoki. He had been going to Anoki. Yeah. So we couldn't switch any titles or anything at that time. But he didn't tell that to Hogan. He just said, no, not, it's not, not right. I can't do it. I'm so then that kind of pissed Hogan off a little bit. What the, the whole strategy was, we were going for that big one with, we're gonna take him and Andre around all the major cities, then Hogan and Bachwinkle, and that's when he would get the title. Hmm. But Vern never told anybody what he was doing ahead of time because then it got in the rag sheets and everything else, so he was a big, you know, kayfabe that way. Right. Everything was kept tight. What are your memories of uh, the bloodbath in St. Paul with uh, Hogan and Schultz? Uh, I don't remember it that much. Um, Schultz was an oddball too. Uh, it drew money and it would have drawn a lot, but uh, Schultz was a little tough to do business with, I think. Now after Hogan left, uh, the big story, and everybody knows about it, was that your father Allegedly called the Iron Sheik and offered to pay him to break Hogan's leg. Never. No truth Never. behind that at all? Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see Cosro. Cosro started that thing. No way. <laughs> okay. No way. That <laughs> never happened ever. 
we've done a lot of interviews with a lot of different guys, uh, including me and Gene and a lot of other talents. Um, a lot of people talk about the story with Vince and, and your, your father with the phone call, offering to buy AWA for a million dollars. It wasn't a phone call. Actually, it wasn't a million dollars. There was nothing like that. Okay. Vince came in the spring of 82. I believe that, if I'm, my date's right. I know he came in the spring, and he talked to my father. I was there with him about wanting to buy us out. He said, I've got a plan, and I'd like to buy you out. And, and Vern said, well, Vince, here's, here's my problem. I've got partners in Chicago. I've got a partner in Denver. I've got partners in Winnipeg. I've got a partner here, and I've got a partner in Milwaukee and Green Bay. I can't just, I have to meet with them and see what they want to do. So we, we talked for a couple hours, and I said, you know, I, I, I see, you know, why you would want it. So then you can expand your television market, and you can sell your ads nationally when you have a national program. And um, he said, well, he said, give me till August. So Vince came back in August, and, and Vern threw a number at him, and he said, let me think about it. The number wasn't a million. It was a lot more than that. And it was worth more than a million. Right. Believe me. I mean, it was major cities. You know, it was the St. Louis TV. It was Chicago, Milwaukee, Green Bay, Winnipeg, Omaha, all the Dakotas, Denver, uh, Salt Lake City, Phoenix, Las Vegas, San Francisco. That's major markets. And we were on TSN throughout Canada. We were in Toronto and uh, Vancouver, along with Winnipeg. And, and uh, so he gave him the number, and Vince said, okay, let me think. But we talked for a couple hours. We drove Vince to the airport. He got out of the car, and as he's walking away, he turns around and he says, I don't negotiate. And he turns around and walks away. My dad said, what? What did he say? I said, he said, I don't negotiate. What does he mean by that? I don't know. We never heard from him again until that was August, till December when the big move came. How did your father take that big move? Oh, he was pissed. I mean, if Hogan would have made his shots and then left, wouldn't have had a problem with it at all. And that's what I told Hulk. And I, and I told Hulk that night, I said, well, why didn't you say something to us? Why wouldn't you? We were in Phoenix together. Well, Andre got on a plane with me and he convinced me on the way over to Japan. And then apparently McMahon came over there. And I said, well, Terry, why wouldn't, why wouldn't you talk about it? Because there's, there was a big future here for you. And my, I knew I was going to eventually take it over. And, and, I, and I told him and I convinced my dad to give him a piece of the business. He's, you know, you have to earn it. Right. I said, well, you know, okay, but that's what I would recommend, and that's what we were going to do. And I told him, he said, why didn't you tell me sooner? I said, why didn't you talk to us sooner? I mean, why would you do that? You know? Have you guys ever had a chance to really talk about it after uh, the fact over the years? Hawk? Yeah, you and Hawk. Well, I got him into Turner Broadcasting, okay. no matter what Ric Flair says. Um, I, got, I was the one that got him there, and uh, I never really, we never really talked about it because there was no need to. Past is the past. Yeah. Okay. 